Hello, friends. Welcome to today's daily devotion. I'm Kerry Wood, pastor of the Goldston Methodist Church in Goldston, North Carolina. Today, we're looking at Romans chapter 5, verses 12 through 17. This is the longest section of scripture that we're reading together this week. So pay careful attention to these words. Therefore, just as sin came into the world through one man, and through sin came death, so also death spread to all humanity because every person has sinned. Even before the time of the law, there was sin in the world. But sin cannot be charged against someone where no law exists. Yet from Adam to Moses, death reigned even over those whose sin was not a breach of a law as Adam's was. And Adam foreshadows the one to come. But there is a contrast between Adam's offenses and God's gracious gift. For if by reasons of the offense of the one man, the whole human race died, far more were the loving kindness of God and the gift given in the loving kindness of the one man, Jesus Christ lavished on the whole human race. There is a contrast too between the gift and the results of the one man's sin. The judgment which followed on the one man's sin resulted in condemnation, but God's gracious gift which followed on many offenses resulted in a decree of righteousness. For if by reasons of the offenses of the one man, death reigned through that one man, far more will those on whom God's loving kindness and his gift of righteousness are lavished find life and reign through the one man, Jesus Christ. Okay, did you get lost in all of that? Paul time to get technical and as a result we can get caught up in the technicalities and lose the big picture. So J.D. Walt has given us a very helpful way of thinking about and understanding what Paul is saying here. And I'm going to use post-production to help me in describing this, but here it is. There is the Adam's way and the Jesus way. Way. The Adam's way is humanity's attempt to go up and get ourselves up to God. Think of it as the A shape, going up and then falling down. But the Jesus way of doing it is just the opposite. It is the upside down A. It's Jesus descending down to be in humanity and then rising up, bringing humanity alongside him. So there's the Adam's way and the Jesus way. Adam's way is attempting to get to God and failing and the result is death for all humanity by sin. Curse, judgment, condemned. Jesus way is humility coming down and sacrifice for all. And Jesus' way results in life for all who trust in Jesus by faith. It is the gift of forgiveness and reconciliation and righteousness. Death, life, Adam, Jesus. Where are you? Here or here? Where am I? Here or here? Thanks be to God, I am here. Why would anybody reject Jesus' way, Jesus' gift? We see every day the result of Adam's way. Can, can we not trust that the Jesus way really is better? What do you want to have faith in? Condemnation and sin and death or resurrection and hope and life? That, my friends, is what it's all about. And I'll see you tomorrow for our next daily devotion.